Hello everyone and welcome to the course review of the Fox Hill Diffs Golf Course in the Regional Municipality of Wood Buffalo in the town of Fort McMurray. Hole 1, we got a nice uphill par 3 to this little hill here. From the blues you want to throw something slightly flippy. From the whites you can throw an overstable putter. As you crest the hill and come back down around to the green, you'll notice that it's a little bit of a fast slope away from the basket, so just be careful with how you approach this basket. You can easily skip past and down the hill there, so just be careful of that. For hole two, we have different tee-off locations. For the whites, it's a pretty stock shot, something nice and straight. Dead straight over this little maintenance pathway there, and then straight down this hill. It's a very steep hill plays very quick. It's quite easy to shoot past this basket. It's a, it's a short little par 3 from the whites. For the blues, we have a par 4 on hole 2. It's a uh, big flex shot off the tee if you got the power, or a big forehand off the tee if you want to get over here. You have to be to the right of the tree that's just on my left hand side that we're passing there and then work your way down this hill to the same green, same basket. Um, hill plays really fast, like I said before, but it's uh, honestly a really lovely hole from either whites or blues. For hole three from the whites, we got a nice S shape here. You want to throw something really flippy on a hyzer, push the left side and then have it flip up to flat or maybe start to turn a little bit as you get up here. And then uh, land right about here is good. So you can see where the basket is and get your approach going because this hill, just like the last green, plays really fast. It's very easy to get to the bottom of the hill if you approach too quickly from your second shot. Hole 3 from the blues, another par 4 just like the whites, except on the other side we're doing the opposite shape. You want to throw something that's uh, pretty flippy. Nice, long, straight, really deep hyzer, and then have a turn over and fade to the right. Or if you got the power, throw something straight to stable on a forehand, end up right about here, and then work your way down the hill on your second shot. Again, nice, soft, touchy approaches on this hill. The slope is really quick. Hole four, white, par three. Simple, real easy, stock, hyzer shot with something over stable. Gets you into the green. Really, really nice, easy hole of whites. For the blues, same tee off location, but our basket is going to be up a hill and to the right and a little bit further. Same tee off though, and this hill as well plays pretty fast as you can see. I did my best to keep the slope on camera there. For hole five, we got a par three for both baskets. It's the same tee off, but shooting the different baskets. You just Stockheiser shot down the hill, either forehand or backhand. The slope plays really quickly, so be careful not to uh, skip too far past into the OB marsh that's to your right. For hole six, par three, you can go up over the water from the blues back there, or follow the same line that the whites follow, which is kind of a Stockheiser forehand or a really flippy backhand. Come around to the back of the marsh, little pond there and find yourself on the green. Really nice hole. Hole 7, par 5. Big hole from the blues and that's the tee off over there from the whites. Whites kind of shoot straight up that hill. Your first shot from the blues you'd want to be ending right about here on this slope or if you have the power push up to this entryway to the second part of the hole which is the harder part of the hole where you're fighting through the forest with a tree smack dab in the middle of the fairway. You gotta fight your way through all this other tree and uh, make your way up to this green. This uh, this green usually plays really fast because it's mostly mulch. All right, hole eight, par three, two baskets, one tee, straight up a hill. This is really really steep. Doesn't really come well on camera, but it's it's very very steep. You throw something really high and wide on a spike hyzer to basically both baskets, and uh, it's pretty simple. Alright, hole 9, par 3 from the whites and blues. For the whites, it's kind of a backhand turnover or forehand hyzer spike. Straight uphill until you get to this open area and it tips back down towards this uh, lovely green that we have here. 
For the Blues, similar shot, a little bit longer and a much tighter fairway. The woods have definitely been cut back less in this area. Those four trees are kind of good guardian trees for your typical forehand line. You want to throw something flippy and then have a turnover at the top of the hill and end up in this lovely green. All ten. One tee, two different baskets. There's the shot for the white basket first. Nice, simple, dead straight putter shot. Nice and slow, smooth, and it'll get you there just fine. And then for the blues, you know, adding a little bit of extra distance and a tree that's pretty much smack dab in the middle of where you want to be thrown, so it's a good idea not to hit him, although he's pretty close to the basket, so it's not too bad of a putt if you make it up this far. Hole 11. You want to fire right up there with uh, the shot from the blues and then follow this same line that the whites kind of go down. You can either do a flex shot and come back there and then skip left down this hill because again this is a sloped green or if you keep with the stock hyzer forehand route you kind of shoot straight and skip up to the green to the basket right here. Hole 12. Nice easy par 3. Same tee, different baskets. The whites are pretty much dead straight at the bottom of these birch trees. It's a very, very steep hill right here. Really fast green. Careful not to skip past the basket. And uh, just kind of tucked over to the right is the basket for the blues. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Hole 13, really, really tight tunnel shut off the tee. It's a uh, split basket again, so we're going to shoot over to the left and you'll see the white basket. Nice little protected green, a lot of guardian trees. And then continuing straight off the tee, instead of hyzering left, is the blue basket, another 50 feet or so down the fairway. Hole 14 from the whites, really, really tough tunnel shot um, with a tree smack dab in the middle that's really easy to hit. Your typical first shot wants to land right about here, and then once you get here, you have a nice, easy, wide open shot fairly wide open shot to the green that slopes left so again be careful it's easy to skip down this hill and get uh, caught up hole 14 from the blues also a par 4 just like the whites except from a different angle lots of trees to hit bit more wide open of a fairway but just more obstacles in the middle stock turnover shot or a forehand hyzer shot if you have it pretty much want to land in the same spot that the whites land in for your second shot and then uh, come down this hill and same basket. Hole 15 is a par 3. Nice wide open uh, fairway so to speak. The trees are starting to grow in there on the left and the right but uh, for now it's a pretty easy hole. Just dead straight at the basket if you want off the tee or a nice forehand hyzer for both uh, or a nice backhand turnover to get up to this blue basket over here. Hole 16, par 4, dead straight across the field, similar to hole 7. You shoot right over top of the, the tee off for the white tees at this hole. And you want to kind of shoot up through these trees from both tees if you can. The, the guardian trees from the blues are definitely harder to get through than the whites. You have a better angle from the whites. And you want to land somewhere around here if you're playing from the whites, so you can just chip up and take a nice easy three. Hole 17, par 3, really, really simple chip forehand shot. It's uh, very steep uphill though, so you got to keep that in account. doesn't really play like 162, it plays more like 210, if I'll be honest. And then same with the Blues, only 224 to the basket, but it feels a lot longer. All right, hole, four, hole 18, sorry. Uh, we got, uh, this is the white tee off, so zooming over here, we have kind of two pathways that you can take. You can either go straight down that way if you're playing from the blues, or if you can hyzer out early and come up here, you can play the white route, which is kind of up and around this way. You don't want to skip left though, just back there, because that's kind of a back hallway between holes 18 and hole 10. But uh, coming out to the fairway here, we got uh, a nice green, slopes downhill away from the basket. So be careful not to come in too hot. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. And uh, 
Thank you so much for watching. It's a beautiful course. Here's an aerial view in the wintertime, so you can kind of see the different pathways that you kind of shoot through the course. And uh, once again, this is the disc golf course in the Region Municipality of Wood Buffalo in Fort McMurray. Thanks for watching.